my dear friends welcome to rajeshekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 55 this is given grammar this one must be converted into greebark normal form yes first eliminate unit productions in this grammar we have unit productions capital e goes to capital t is unit production capital t goes to capital f is also unit production first we will try to remove these two unit productions how can i remove just let me write e goes to t but what are the possible productions for t there is a production t goes to t star f t goes to there is another production t goes to f therefore i am writing t goes to f but whereas f goes to left parenthesis e right parenthesis e right parenthesis and f also goes to a isn't it now i can write in the place of e goes to t what can i write e goes to t star f e goes to left parenthesis e right parenthesis e goes to small e i am getting three new productions just see e goes t plus t original production e goes to t i cannot write why because i have to re eliminate this unit production now new production t star f o left parenthesis e right parenthesis a t star f o left parenthesis e right by a isn't it now t goes to t star f just i am writing t goes to f t goes to f is unit production now we have to remove that unit production just write t goes to f i am writing t goes to t goes to f this is unit production just see t goes to f t goes to f f goes to left parenthesis e right parenthesis left parenthesis e right parenthesis f goes to small a f goes to small a therefore productions are t goes to left parenthesis e right parenthesis t goes to small a you are getting new two new productions t goes to t star f is one production and other two productions is left parenthesis e right parenthesis and another production is t goes to a this is the resultant productions now what about last one f goes to e and f goes to a now we remove all unit productions grammar after removing unit production to reduce the above grammar to gnf we introduce new variables as in the place of a plus he, here if you observe carefully e t f are known as non terminals whereas left parenthesis uh, right parenthesis a um and star all these plus all these are terminals they cannot produce anything first you must have clarity on terminals and non terminals etf are non terminals plus star left parenthesis right parenthesis a are known as terminal symbols isn't it yes now let me introduce new productions for plus i am writing x goes to plus for star i am writing y goes to star for right parenthesis i am writing z why because i need not write production for left parenthesis in in the case of greebark normal form all production must be of the form capital a goes to small e alpha first letter must be uh, small letter what does it mean uh, terminal symbol yes if you have terminal symbol in the beginning no issue it is advisable actually that's why i am not giving any production for uh, left parenthesis after uh, renaming after renaming this your grammar will change like this this one is your uh, modified grammar this one if i replace those things this is modified grammar now let me rename capital e as a1 capital t as a2 capital f as a3 capital x as a5 capital y as Uh, um, capital Z as A6, capital Y as A5. Just you can understand. Uh, it, it is simple. Anybody can understand. Just go through this. Just I am renaming all the variables. I am renaming after renaming, and I am writing other newly introduced productions. Now we have to convert it into Greebark normal form. How, how will it be? Just see, there is a production A2 goes to A2. We here we have. A left recursion how uh, we already discussed how to remove left recursion it is of the form a goes to a alpha by beta 1 or beta 2 what is my a a is a2 i must remove left recursion alpha is a5 a3 beta 1 is left parenthesis a1 a6 
your beta 2 is a what is the rule according to that rule uh, by the, uh, how can i remove left pro production this is a formula to remove left pro, uh, left recursion isn't it now how how can i write capital a goes to capital a means what a2 goes to beta 1 what is my beta 1 left parenthesis a1 a6 beta 1 or beta 1 z beta 1 z means what beta 1 z or beta 2 z beta 1 z or beta 2 z means what is my beta 1 left parenthesis a a6 z or beta 2 means a a z isn't it that is a to z goes to and z goes to alpha or alpha z what is my alpha alpha is a phi a3 or alpha z means a phi a3 z isn't it yes now a1 goes to a1 a4 a2 this is just check your previous slide this previous slide i am writing this production from previous slide a1 goes to a1 a4 a2 or a2 a5 a3 left to parenthesis a1 a6 or a now let me consider a1 goes to a2 a5 a3 if i consider this one uh, actually here I have left, uh, left recursion, I must eliminate this left recursion. Before eliminating left recursion, let me simplify this A1 goes to A2, A5, A3. In the place of A2, I can always write this production. A2 goes to left parenthesis, just I am substituting. Therefore, your A1 will be converted like this. If I simplify that, your A1 will be converted like this. Now it is of the form capital A goes to A alpha by beta 1 beta 2. If I apply this formula, if I apply just uh, if you remove left recursion, you will get uh, if, if you remove left recursion, if you remove if you uh, remove left recursion, you will get this A1 goes to this one. Anybody can uh, check this one. Just I am um, applying uh, left recursion removal formula. This is Z1. Actually modify z1 and uh, z2 in the place of a5 actually star and in the if i uh, just check in previous slide a5 means what star just i'm replacing that with star if i replace now what will you get z1 goes to a4 but a4 is plus a4 is plus now if you compare equation number one to eight all these productions are in Greenback normal form. I request, uh, I request all of you to go through my previous lectures on Greenback normal form so that you can understand this lecture without any difficulty. Thank you very much.